Welcome, I am John Lira, and in this demo, which I think it's fun and short, is to discuss what we call the configure the batch groups. Now, first of all, what is that? Nothing new. First of all, no, notice that you we are using the TRN lab, and what is a batch group? It's, its intent is to make your life easier. Notice we have been in the utilities throughout our other demos in your labs. When we have gone to the batch viewer, we have been running the staging jobs in a certain order, although staging doesn't require a sequence, but we could have done so, although there's no dependencies. However, however, when we executed the load job, sequence was important. So there we had to be careful which job came first. And then as we're going to continue, if I want to match, also notice that I can execute the ba uh, matching, uh, auto merge. In other words, we as MDM Hub developers can selectively go to the right job and execute it as we will be doing and have been doing in our demos in our labs. But is there a way to make it easier? Yes. A couple things I will note right now. I don't know if you have done these labs already, but let's pay attention to this. Whenever we go to a staging job or any job here, and you select something that you want to execute. On the right hand side, you have a property windows. Notice for staging, you have the name. Ah, very important to know that in fact, in fact, our GUI is calling various store procedures to run the job. We happen to be using a user interface to make it easier for you and me, but in, under the covers, it's actually calling store procedures. Could you have run these yourselves? The answer is yes. We'll see that in other demos and other lectures. So, but right now, I'm just pointing out that there is a procedure that's being called, a description, and our job using the interface is quite easy. We can execute and refresh status. When we went to match, same thing. Notice the procedure being called, execute and refresh. And when we go to load, and this will be the last one that I'll demo, Notice the same thing. There's a job being called execute and refresh. Thank goodness we have a user interface. Now, can we make this even easier? I said there's dependencies. Well, yes, the batch group, which is the topic of this demo, under, under the utilities workbench batch group, you see the batch group. Let me make sure I acquire a log so I can modify this. What's the purpose of this? It's to create a task flow and notice it says, let me just create one. Okay. Uh, notice under batch groups, we have one. Log by status, it is running, completed, completed with errors, fail. So this is the status bar. This is our dashboard for status after we have one, after we create one. So how would I create one? Add a batch group, and I'm going to call this, I'm going to call this, uh, let's see, customer MDM data. Just because lack of a better lack of a better word, I'll just say that. And I'll say this. So now notice, I have these levels, start to end. Anything, when I run this, from start to end will be executed. So I have something called customer, customer MDM, and now our job is merely to, in the properties on the right hand side, right mouse click, and you can add a level. Add a level above, below, move one up, move one down, remove, add jobs to this level, move it up. So I'll leave the fun to you. You do have a lab on this, but it's pretty mechanical. Let me just add one because there isn't any. It can only be add level below. Now you decide what you want. So for, for customer, remember we had a staging. We wanted to do a stage job, so you select it. Now it's very important. Any jobs that are in the same level will be executed in parallel. If you wanted to execute it sequentially, then you got to add another level. I know that staging doesn't matter in the order that I execute those jobs. So therefore, I can go ahead and keep adding, keep adding more work on this level. So add, be, add level above, below, remove, and add jobs to this. So I can go ahead and put address staging since order doesn't matter. Let me just do one just for sake of example. But loading does matter. Loading should happen after I have staged data. So I don't want to add it to this level. I want to add a whole level below. And then I can go ahead and do what we were doing earlier. 
in other demos that we can load. So here is the load jobs. Now, most of the time you're going to have a separate level for every load because of the dependencies, primary foreign key relationships. Staging doesn't matter. But why would I want to break up my staging in several levels? Can you figure out why? Correct. For performance. Based on your clan servers and match servers, etc. performance. Since in the architecture we discussed that we can have more than one clan server, more than one match server, etc. then it might make sense to put them not all together because of the overhead or the processing. If I, have, if, I have, if I happen to have multiple clan servers, maybe I can put even 10 jobs in it. If I only have one, maybe 10 jobs at the same level is too much. So speak to your requirements, pers people, your administrators, and figure out what the correct design. Now, I'm going to jump to another ORS in which I already have completed this work, uh, batch group. And notice in the first demo about the environment, I discuss the various ORSs that you have. Here, the, I'm going to go to the instructor lab complete. And first, it's asking him if I want to save what I have done. Yes, I said yes. And this is the instructor's completed one. Ah, notice a little bit more details. And that's it. And then when you want to run this, you go to the logs and you basically can clear all, select, refresh, or go ahead and process this. So you can go ahead and run this at, as, as you see here. Be cautious. In your labs, if you follow the sequence, we have already staged the data already. So if you do this demo or lab, do not execute it because you're going to be redoing the same data that we already did, restaging it, reloading it, and it may hurt you because remember of delta detection, etc. You might have already matched and merged. So be careful. Don't execute this unless you know that this is new data that you want to bring in depending on the load or the staging. But it really does save you time. Alternatively, we could also write various scripts or store procedures to have done this, which is a whole separate topic in itself. So thank you so much and we'll see you around.